Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, Selenium tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the browser navigation methods in the Selenium. So, let's begin. First, let's understand what are browser navigations and then we will see how we can utilize them in the Selenium. So, let me go here on the browser and let me enter this website again. So, this is the main website of the Selenium, right? And let me go to this download section here okay so now we are on the download section and if you see here this back button this power button and this refresh button these are basically referred to browser navigations so if i click on this back button it will take me to the previous page so which is the zillion main page and if i click on this forward button it will again take me back to this download section and similarly, if I click on this one, it will refresh the page. So this is the functionality which we need to automate using the Selenium. Now let's open the Eclipse and start writing the code. So let's open the Eclipse here. And I will be creating one more class here. We need to go here, new, click on the class. And let me name it as browser navigation navigation methods okay and now check on this public main method public static main method and click on finish so we have this method now and let me copy a couple of lines from the previous script so let me copy these from here and let me paste it here i am uh, removing the comments here so that we can have a properly looking script here and let me remove this one here so basically what we are doing here is that we are just aligning our code here so that it looks proper now. So first step is basically we are setting the property for the driver, room driver here, and we are providing the axi of that one. Then we are creating the instance of room driver. Then we are actually managing the window and we are maximizing the window. And then finally, we are opening the particular URL here. So, what we need to do is that first we need to navigate to the Selenium website. Okay. Let me open uh, the notepad where I have actually written down these URLs. Let me open the notepad has here. And here you can see that we have this main URL. So let me copy this one. And let me go to Eclipse again. And let me provide this url here okay save this one and now let's run this one and see what happens so it should open the selenium website as per the script so the main link opens successfully here now let's go back to the eclipse here and now what we need to do is that we need to navigate to the downloads page okay so for that we would be writing driver dot then we have a method web driver method which is navigate dot to and here we need to provide the url okay so let me go to my notepad here and let me click on this one okay and provide this one now here navigate to and gate dot get method works in a very same way okay let me save this one and and let's run this again and see what happens so now first it will go to the selenium website and then it will navigate to the downloads so now it is navigated to the downloads okay let me close this one and what we need to do is that 
I need to go back to this particular URL because right now when we execute our script, it will take us to this particular download speech. Okay. So here the simple driver dot navigate dot back and that's it. So now it will take our user back to this particular main URL of the Selenium website. Let me save this one and let's run this again and see what happens. So first it will take to the main Selenium website, then download section and then ba again back to this selenium.dev which is the main URL. Okay. Now similarly what we can do is that we can provide driver dot navigate dot then we have a forward method here right and it will again take us big back to this url right so let me save this one and let me run this one and see what happens so it will first selenium dev then it will take to downloads then back to selenium then back to the download section a script is executing quite fast so that's why you, you might be not seeing this properly so let me add some delays here so that you can see it properly so what i'm doing is that i'm adding thread dot sleep and here let me add five seconds delay here and let me hover on this one and let me throw declaration for this one okay and let me copy this one paste it here and after this one let me paste it here so now we have seen that how we can navigate back and forward and to one more thing is remaining is regarding to the refresh the page so driver dot navigate dot refresh so it will refresh your current page at that time so now uh, as i have put some delays here you will see it happening exactly so let me run this one and see what happens now so first selenium dot f will open and after some time you will see that it will navigate to downloads now it will take big back to the selenium main page then it will take back us to the download section and now it will refresh this page here as well so you can see at the end the page got refreshed thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again Thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.